I'm Hugh Collingborn, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. For .NET developers, one of the most powerful features of the Amethyst IDE is the integration it provides between Microsoft.NET and Adobe Flash platform applications. Using Amethyst, you can create multi-platform solutions. Here, for example, I have a C-sharp Windows Forms project in the same solution as an ActionScript Flex 4 project. You can design a user interface in .NET and drag and drop onto it a Shockwave Flash object to contain your Flash program. This is my Windows Forms application, and I've dragged on this Flash object, which will contain the Flex program which I've designed and coded here in Amethyst. You can read an explanation of how I created this application on the Sapphire Steel Software website. In this video, I want to concentrate on the debugger. The Amethyst Cylon debugger gives .NET programmers the unique ability to debug between .NET and Flash applications in a single debugging session. Now let's see an example. I've added some breakpoints to both my ActionScript code and my C-sharp code, and the buttons on my .NET form will execute C-sharp methods to call an ActionScript method. And this in turn will pass data back, here that's the status string, to my C-sharp code. And now I want to be able to debug everything as it happens in both .NET and Flex. Here, the .NET program is the main application. So if I were to start a normal debugging session, the C-sharp debugger would take control of everything, and the Amethyst Cylon debugger would never be called. So to get around that problem, Amethyst has a little trick. It lets me put my Flash platform program into listen mode. I can do that either in the main debug menu, or I can go into the Solution Explorer and do it from there. And when in listen mode, the Amethyst debugger is running in the background, waiting for my Flex program to start. So now, the next thing to do is to select my .NET project and debug that by starting a new instance. Again, I do that from Solution Explorer. This now fires up the .NET program. And since this contains my Flex program, the Flex program starts running too. And that is what the Amethyst debugger has been waiting for. And right away, the first breakpoint in my Flex application in Amethyst is hit, and I can debug in the usual way. For example, I can hover over variables and drill down inside them. Or I can expand the variables in the various docked debugging windows. I press F5 to continue, and now I hit a breakpoint in my .NET application and in C-sharp code, and of course I can debug that too, using hovering and the various debugging windows. When I'm ready, I press F5 again, and now this is my .NET program running. The Flex program is here. That's everything inside this white box. The buttons beneath this, however, are all in .NET. Now let's see what happens when I click a button. It hits a breakpoint in the button's event handler in my C-sharp code, and I press F5 to continue. And now we're back in ActionScript, and I can examine the string that was sent from C-sharp to Flex. And I can, of course, step through the code one line at a time, using F10. And when I'm ready to continue, I press F5 again. And continue to the next breakpoint, and I'm back in C-sharp again. And again, I press F5 when I'm ready to continue. Call status here is the data that's been passed back to C-sharp from the function which it called in ActionScript. In this case, it just tells me that everything's OK, so I press F5 and carry on. So you can see from this example how easy it is to design, code, and debug mixed .NET Flash platform programs using Amethyst. And you can find more information on the project shown in this video, plus more details on Amethyst's multi-process debugging on the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.